Hi, this is Jared from Shunome, and today I want to talk about creating landscape elements in ARCHICAD, specifically creating rock walls and you know, landscape boulders. This was a question sent to me in an email this morning, and so instead of just writing a response, I thought I'd record a video and show everyone else what I'm thinking. So there's a couple ways to do this. One is you can look for existing ARCHICAD objects out there that might meet these needs. I, I believe there's some third-party landscape libraries and then there's I think a few things on the bimcomponents.com website. But there's two other ways which I think are probably faster and provide more options and that's to make your own boulders in ARCHICAD which is very easy or to steal some things from SketchUp. So I'll show you the SketchUp warehouse direction really quick and then we'll make some boulders. So first of all we're gonna go to the 3D warehouse.sketchup.com and search for boulders and I've already done that and I found these guys. They look pretty good. Um, so I've actually already downloaded those and that is right here. So we're gonna go to Archicad and just drag and drop the SketchUp file into our plan. This is, again, one of these great connections between SketchUp and ARCHICAD that this is as simple as dragging and dropping, just like we would a PDF or a DWG. So, while I'm talking, we've now placed these boulders in there. And you can see on floor, the floor plan, they're a little intense, a lot of faces there. Um, if we go to palettes, polygon, count, we can look under objects and let's see if it's showing up yet oh yeah this here's our new boulder object we just put put in it's about four thousand faces for one two three four for eight boulders so you can imagine if you were doing a large field of rocks like a garden you're building a wall out of these using these objects could get big really fast so as it stands this one object is about half the polygons of this entire file. Now, if we go, let's, uh, let's close that. If we go to 3D, we'll see here's our, here's our new boulders. They're a goofy color. That's easy to fix. We can just change their surface, and let's go to limestone fine. Now, they're nicer, but there's still one element. If we right-click, we can convert selection to morphs. Hit OK wait for a second, and now each one of these is independent. We can go ahead and start deleting the ones we don't want. We can scale them to be the right size. We can rotate them how we want. And also, since they're morphs, we can uh, change their edge type so they become hidden edges, they can become soft edges. So now, as we're playing with these boulders, we can uh, really start to make them fit our needs a lot better. Now if we look in plan, we can see uh, here's one that we've made soft edges, here's one that uh, you know we've done some other changes to. So we can really start to fine-tune what these boulders look like both in plan and uh, in the model. And of course, um, because these are now morphs, we can do things like slice them and uh, you know, do other um, transformations to them to get them to be just the way they want. But again, if we go back to the original point with these boulders is that uh, there's a lot of faces on them, which could slow down model time. So another thing we can do is just build boulders from scratch. And to do that, we're going to use the morph tool. We just start with uh, a basic cube. Oh. There we go. And then it's just a matter of spending a little time to, you know, maybe move the points, add some points, and, uh, you know, otherwise transform this. And so right now I've just moved the points, um, but we can also take that corner and uh, chamfer it, say, Two foot chamfer, and you know, basically just keep working on this folder to get it you know, however you want. And again, we can go back to plan, you can find that, 
we can uh, slice it. it. Looks like I was getting a little goofy over there, so delete that. Go back to 3D. You know, we can just start working on this folder. I don't want to spend too much more time on it. But using the morph tool, we can basically just craft the boulders we want. And once we've done that, we can scale it again. We can make copies and rotate this. Um, and once you start transforming a basic one, um, like if we rotate this boulder 14 degrees in the x-direction, the y-direction, you can start getting one boulder to be a lot of different forms. And again, just like we changed the SketchUp imported objects, we can change the uh, qualities of the, the edges and uh, start to make these boulders, again, look much more boulder-like than I'm showing right here. Um, I was goofing around for just a few minutes before this video uh, and made some examples. Um, so here they are. Again, it's nothing I spent all of, you know, three minutes on these. So they're nothing special. But you can see that we can start to create some, some decent rock forms if you don't want to go the way of importing them from SketchUp. But between these two, you can imagine stacking them, placing them through it, the site, um, you're going to get some really nice landscape features. And again, what's nice about the uh, importing from SketchUp or building from scratch and then you know, tweaking them a bit, uh, they're going to look good in plan. Obviously, these need some work yet, but they're going to look good in plan. They're going to look good in the 3D model. They're going to look good in. Um, in section and elevation too. And again, clearly none of these are probably at the point where you, I would want them in a file, um, but I hope you can see from what I'm showing here that uh, to create preform boulders and landscape elements to just use the morph either from scratch or from importing something from SketchUp uh, or you know 3D Studio or any other file format we can import will be fast and quick. So. Hope you enjoyed something. Hope you enjoyed this, and I hope you learned how to make uh, some quick landscape. Thanks.